Hi, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro video editing tutorial, I'm going to show you how to remove a green screen. So let's say you have a footage that you shot with a green screen, like so. I'm just going to drag it onto my timeline to create a new sequence. All we have to do is simply go to the effects panel, open the video effects folder, and inside the keying folder, there are a bunch of different options for different types of keys that you can do based on brightness or colors. But as a standard go-to, we can use the ultra key effect. If I simply drag this onto the video clip and head over to the effects control panel, we should see the ultra key effect pop up and all of the parameters that we can adjust. And the main one being the key color. So you can choose to key out any color, whether you have a blue screen or green screen, or you're just keying out something in the video. But in this case, we're gonna use green. So I'm actually just going to use my ink dropper tool to select kind of the exact shade of green throughout the this lighting and press OK. And you should see the green screen basically disappear. If you do need to do any other cleanup, if you have some shadows or not perfect lighting, you can simply drop down the matte generation options and you can adjust things about the shadow highlights and tolerance amount. So if you did have some slight adjustment that you needed to do just to take account for lighting, you can do that and the tolerance as well. If you have lots of variation of green, you can increase the tolerance to pick it all up more. And although it's showing black, that's just the default way because there's nothing, there's no layers underneath. If I was to drag this onto video track two, for example, I can then drag whatever type of graphics, photos, or other video clips underneath and we get the functionality of our green screen effect working pretty well. So it's important to shoot your video in good lighting with a clean green screen and it'll make your job much easier. But that's basically the simple method on how to remove and use green screens in Adobe Premiere Pro. If you enjoyed this video, check out a lot of my other video editing tutorials in the playlist and videos on my channel and subscribe to stay tuned for all of my new uploads. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.